Well, it's just after 10 past 5 Friday morning here in New Zealand. And, well, the World Cup of Dream is over for the All Whites. It was a pretty good run. Undefeated. Undefeated, but the nil-all draw against Paraguay didn't quite uh, do it for us. We needed to win that game to make New Zealand go through to the round of 16. But uh, it didn't happen, but it was a an absolute fantastic ride. Other countries, other commentators are saying, you know, no hopers, minnows, really not a chance to go through, but we've proved them wrong. And, uh, well, just unbelievable. The whole country was buzzing uh, for the last few days. Just unbelievable. There was a whiteout on Thursday. You know, people drew, uh, dressing in white and wearing white shirts and, you know, New Zealand football and silver silver ferns and uh, t-shirts and things like that. Unbelievable buzz around the country. But uh, this has done great things for New Zealand football and uh, long may it continue. The best World Cup result for New Zealand bar none. Absolutely incredible. We are very, very proud of uh, Ricky Herbert and uh, Ryan Nelson and the goalie Mark Paston, absolute legend. Very, very proud of the All Whites. But uh, you know we're not going through to the next round. But uh, hey, we've uh, we've done very, very well. Bigger than the '82 team. You know they they went down three games to nil. But the uh, 2010 team, wow, just unbelievable. And uh, you know looking at some of the uh, coverage on the local networks here the all whites from the 82 squad that they have on the air i think they are very very proud of what the current all whites team have done a bitter end for new zealand but a very proud proud moment for the all whites and for the country we're a sporting nation we love our sport we get them behind them and uh well all i can say now is Bring on the Rugby World Cup 2011 next year and we hope you'll be there.